Welcome to my channel folks. Today I'm going to show you what is VPC endpoints and how you can use it. So to give a brief introduction, VPC endpoint allows you to connect your VPC to other supported services without the use of any public IP address. The entire traffic between your VPC and other services which are supported never leaves your Amazon network. Let us see a small example of how this works. So if I have to take, for example, an S3 service, uh, then in this case, I have a public instance and then the public instance will require an Internet gateway to access my S3 bucket. Or in this case, if I want to have a private instance and that needs access to my S3 bucket, then I need to add an NAT instance or a NAT gateway so that the traffic from my private instance goes along to my internet gateway and reaches my S3 service. But when you are trying to use a VPC endpoint, we don't have to send the traffic to the external world. What we can do is the endpoint will be created within my VPC that is as shown here and all the traffic is within the Amazon network so that I have more security and more control over how the VPC itself uh, is communicating with my endpoint S3 in this case. So quickly, I'm going to go over to my dashboard and show you how to set up a VPC endpoint uh, for our accounts. I am in my EC2 dashboard in Virginia region, and you can see here there is a public web server running and also a private app server running. So if I go to my public server, let me open that. So in my public server, you can see here there's a public IP address and then there's a private IP address. Whereas if I go to my private server, there is only a private IP address. Uh, so what it means is if the private uh, instance wants to access my S3, there is uh, no way that it can reach it as of today unless I have an endpoint created. So to create an endpoint, let us go to my VPC and then on the left hand side, you can see here endpoints. So let us go over and open it. I already kept it open. So click on create endpoints. So the first thing we have to choose is whether we want to do an AWS service or find the service by the name. So in this case, we are going to use the AWS services itself. So and I'm going to choose S3 here and I'm going to make sure that I'm going to choose the VPC that I have set up for this purpose. So in this case, it is called as a VPC demo VPC. And you can see there an automatically a route is going to be get created in my account and I'm going to associate it with my route table that I custom made it and not on the main route tables. So that is the one step and next is policy. I'm going to leave it as it is as of now. So I'm going to click on create endpoint and it is going to create the endpoint and also create the necessary routing as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my terminal session now. Now I have got the both the sessions already connected one as a private uh, and then that's the public server. So just to show that this is the public server and you can see here I can access uh, google.com page whereas if I go to my private instance and I don't get a prompt. Likewise, if I, I have an IAM role also attached. So if I do something like AWS S3 LS as of now it works here and since we have set up our uh, endpoint, this should work here as well. It might take a minute, but it will definitely work. There you go. You see here my VPC endpoint ensures that my private server also has access to my S3 buckets. So if I have to go ahead and remove my endpoint. Let's go ahead and delete this endpoint now. And I'm going to just try again the same command AWS S3 LS and it's just going to hang there and wait and it is not going to get completed. So that is how you create a VPC endpoint and then act, give access to your buckets through your private instance without having a public IP address or a NAT gateway in, in between. Thanks for watching. Happy learning. If you have any questions, drop it in the comment section. I will answer them. And if you like my videos, go ahead and subscribe them.